As a health promotion officer, I wanted to develop a smoking prevention program for young people in primary schools to give them all the facts about smoking uh, before they reached the age where perhaps they were under pressure from friends to, to take up smoking. And to make the programme a bit more exciting, I thought it might be nice to try and link in with a sports club where you've got good role models of, of young people who are keeping fit and healthy. And being a rugby fan, I thought, well, if we perhaps approach Northampton Saints and we could call it Kick Smoking Into Touch. So I went to see Sean Haynes, who was absolutely uh, thrilled to, to be involved and has been behind it 110% for the eight years that we've been running it. It has achieved what I wanted it to achieve and more because a lot of the schools that we go into, not a lot of those schools actually play rugby or tag rugby as it would be at this level. Um, so it's introduced young people to a different sport as well um, and to understand that uh, there is a, a life beyond football. Is it making a difference as well, helping get the programme across the, the whole county? And you know, For years it was a Wellingborough based programme and now you know, we're stood here in a school in Corby. It has, and what's been really good is for over the last couple of years we've had funding from the Primary Care Trust who wanted to develop the programme county-wide, and that's been really good. So we've been able to take it to areas like Corby and Daventry and, and reach, reach a, a wider audience. It is a true partnership between borough councils, Primary Care Trust. Um, it's also the Fire and Rescue Service are involved because there is, again, a knock-on, there's lots of things around smoking that nearly all the house fires that the fire service are called out to are caused by people being careless with cigarettes, lighters and matches. So that's why they're involved in the project as well, because if people aren't smoking in the home, then we're going to have a lot less house fires as well. And it's developing that part of it as well, not just the smoking prevention for young children, but taking the message home and trying to get adults at home not to smoke around the young people so that they're not second-hand smoking, and which then could lead, lead to smoking. So it's, it's a, a far-reaching programme. Um, obviously, the, the Saints' involvement, I think, is very impressive in the schools. The, when the schools hear that the Saints are going to come in and there's prizes of, of tickets for a match, um, obviously you, you can't hold them back. They all want to be involved. And I think, again, when parents see this information coming home and it's supported by a local sports club, again, uh, it makes perhaps them think a little bit more and maybe that's the... Uh, the route that they should go to go down trying to prevent um, smoking and, and making places smoke free. Well the kids have been really enthusiastic about this, uh, they've learnt a lot about smoking and the bad things about smoking and they've really taken it on board. As far as having the involvement of the, the Saints, does that help promote the, the programme within the school? It does, we've got a good number of children that actually play rugby um, locally and they've heard of the Saints, I mean it's the biggest local team. Um, so they were, again, really enthusiastic about Saints being involved. And as far as you know, having the prize of some match tickets, you know, obviously meant an awful lot today. So was that, was, is it a real incentive to, to do well? Yeah, it was. You could, I mean, the, the amount of children that actually did posters was, you know, it was a good 90% of the year group. And also you could tell by the winning girl, she was really, really pleased.